Hello and welcome. Thank God it's Friday for our last daily devotion of the week as we talk about the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18. Luke, I am your father. 18, 9 through 14. Star Wars reference for you there. He, Jesus, also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood and prayed with himself. God, I thank you that I'm not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, liars, cheats, even like this tax collector over here. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of everything I get. Ticking it off, ticking it off. But the tax collector, standing far off, wouldn't even lift his face and his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but he who humbles, humbles himself will be exalted. <sighs> Reminds me of Mary's Magnificat. Uh, princes will be brought low and the lowly lifted up. I like to call this text spiritual speck collectors. Remember that old Matthean text? Quit judging your brother and looking at the speck in his eye when you got a log in your own. This whole idea, I mean, man, we, we live in a culture where we compare ourselves better or worse to others. We've got bumper stickers. My kid goes to such and such school. My kid's a straight A student. My terrier's smarter than your straight A student. You know, we play these one-upmanship games. My team's better than your team. My daddy could beat up your daddy. My mama's better than your mama. Well, Jesus is telling a story to a bunch of people who thought they were better than everybody else, more pious, more holy, better versed in the Bible, better prayers, closer to God. And just when I want to say, it sounds like somebody I might know, I think, my gosh, that makes me the Pharisee. Because we always want to identify with the tax collector, don't we? That's saying something. Coming to God humble. Coming to each other humble. Not as if we belong in the room. Not as if we've deserved everything God gives us, but as somebody who's just eager to be at the table. Happy and joyful for who God is. Seeking God's mercy and knowing we need it. Jesus told the story to bring people down a peg from their spiritual high horses. Because it's a dangerous and easy thing to do to get on a spiritual high horse. It's easy to find our targets, no matter who you are. If your targets are more liberal or more conservative, more democratic or more Republican, more progressive or more fundamental, Boy, we like to snipe at the other side, don't we? Jesus has a humble heart. One that's open to God and open to our brothers and sisters is where a fruitful life with God begins. And by the way, a more joy-filled, peaceable, loving life that's genuine. Tough story when it really boils down to it, when you really think about it. When we identify not with a tax collector, but with a man standing upright, ticking off all the ways we belong in all the ways others don't. On this Thank God It's Friday day, maybe we ought to check ourselves before, like the Pharisee, we wreck ourselves in spiritual arrogance. Have a great weekend. See you Sunday.